and welcome to this edition of Tony G Psychic Medium. I'm Tony G and I am a psychic medium and a channel. I am also a author, hypnotist and healer. So I believe that we all could use a little guidance. We are all very intuitive. We have that gut feeling or that knowing inside of us. We're extremely intuitive on our own. But every once in a while, when we're making major life decisions or not so major life decisions, we could use a little guidance. Today, I have a very, very special guest, Elisa. Paquette is my guest today, and Lisa will be getting a reading on air. How brave of you, Lisa. <laughs> well, you bring out the bravery in me, so I appreciate that. Absolutely. <clears throat> so, Lisa, today we're just going to answer questions that you have about your life, connect with loved ones from the other side if you do so choose. Okay. So would you like to start with a question? Well, before we started the show, you said that someone had already entered that wanted yeah. to talk to me. So that would probably be yeah. the greatest way to start. Okay. So there's a gentleman standing <coughs> uh, next to your chair on your right. And this gentleman is a medium build, very black hair. I'm not seeing the face. I'm only seeing the profile because this gentleman is looking directly at you, but very black hair and short um, uh, combed back hair, like okay. slicked back. And <clears throat> seemingly younger, seemingly, uh, I said, I need to see your face. And he went, <laughs> and went back to you. Um, more of a square face than a round face and olive <clears throat> or tanned skin wearing a zip-up jacket and casual pants. I know this huh. isn't extremely descriptive. Oh, and not old. This person is not old. If I have to put an age on this person, I would say, or I would repeat, 30 to 35. Okay. <laughs> 34, 35, possibly. Um, this could be a cousin, uncle. It's a relative for sure. Okay. For sure, a relative. Are you, do you have an idea of who this might be? The only person that even would come to mind would be my grandfather on my dad's side, who I never have met, who I think was around that age when he passed away. Because okay. I just think about the olive skin and the jet black hair and yeah. uh, probably he's handsome, I don't know. Short, yeah. is he kind yeah. of five, yeah. six, somewhere? Yeah. Yeah. Short. Okay. I, I know short because <clears throat> barely, barely comes above the top of the chair. Yeah. Well, my dad's short, <laughs> so that makes sense. That would there be the only go. person I could think okay. that would fit so, that description. <clears throat> yes, I said, are you, <clears throat> and he said yes. So the one thing that I want to tell you, and, and there are other people here too, because for me, for some reason, like one person doesn't come in, your whole lineage comes in, and I have... I don't want to say access, but if there's somebody that really wants to speak or be the spokesperson, I'll see them first, and then I'll start to see other relatives also. Okay. So the first thing that um, he wants to say is <laughs> lighten up. Uh. <laughs> lighten up. Just lighten up. Now, he means this two ways. The first way he means this is like, don't put so much pressure on yourself. You're carrying the weight of the world and, and everything in your, and everything with you throughout your entire life. You're carrying this with you and just totally saying, don't put so much pressure on yourself. You are sweet and you are amazing. And guess what? You've made it this far. You're going to make it. You're going to do it. You, you, he's, he's, going, he's looking at you going, you can't get this wrong. There's no way to get this wrong. And also to lighten up, um, the second way is to bring more of your own light to expand it inside of you to the outside. That will automatically dissolve some of the heaviness that you've been carrying around with you. 
He wants to say he loves you and that you are just this really amazing girl, woman. You are this really amazing woman that um, <clears throat> that I'm, I'm asking to rephrase or restate a comment. So uh, that deserved much better. That deserved much better. Don't think your past defines you, because it doesn't. You've done amazing things. He's a pointer. Oh, he's a pointer. <laughs> like, he's like. <laughs> we all like to talk with our hands a lot. So <laughs> I've never met him, so this is very awesome. Yeah, it is. And, and he is, he's, he's honored and grateful to have you in his lineage, by the way, because you are so strong and such a great survivor that it is amazing to see the human, uh, uh, human strength and resilience, resilience, so much human resilience. Um, you are going to accomplish a great deal in this life. You're just now, just now coming into your own. And I was going to say it better start soon. <laughs> it is. It's starting now. It is starting <clears throat> now. You are coming into your own, and you are going to have just a really miraculous fall. This is where everything starts to pick up for you. They're show, like when I'm doing this, they're showing me steps that you're going up, and you're going to, um, okay, okay, okay. You're going to... Uh, you're going to reach the top. You're going to reach the top. You just, you're taking steps and you're just not gonna stop and you are about to come into your own in many areas and uh, you've always worried about finances but finances are about to open up wide for you. I mean, floodgates open. Um, there's a poem in my brand new book. Um, <clears throat> I just wrote, a, I just published a brand new book and there's a poem in there and he's, he's, he's referencing uh, this poem, which I do not know by heart and is a little bit embarrassing. I don't even, can't even recall the title of it. So this is a great promo for my new book. <laughs> well, you've written a lot of books, so I wouldn't worry about it. Um, well, Channeled Messages from Above is the name of the book, but there's a poem in there about climb the steps, uh, climb once more, but it talks about just, it, it, they're all these poems are channeled from God and this totally talks about being, um, just keep going and you'll, you're going to get there. And he's referencing that, that you are going to get to that spot and you are going to have that amazing experience of peace in who you are with complete acceptance and love of self. That oh. sounds like a dream. Oh, that is awesome. You finally, he is saying you are finally getting to the point where you really don't give a happy hoo-hoo what anybody else thinks about you or your life choices. Yeah, I've kind of never given a care about that and, unless I've had to for other people's yeah, reasons. you're not going to have to anymore. <clears throat> you're going to be very accepting of all you are, and you're going to realize the separation between things that happen and you very soon, and you're just going to like, uh, I see Archangel Michael taking a big scissors and cutting the things that have happened because you now realize it within, I want to say within a month, that that's not you. It has nothing to do with who you are, and you're going to be just really happy. And the other thing he wants to say is he's just, he just loves you. He's like, you're amazing, and I love you. And he wishes you could see all the love coming in from the other side. So now that I've gone on a bit with his messages, do you have a question? Um, it's totally off the subject that, That's okay. of that, but... 
so over the last three months, I've physically had my left side be very irritating and in pain. And so much so that I went to the doctor and he's like, oh yes, you have bruised ribs. Well, he didn't do x-ray, but he physically touched them, whatever. Um, it's not going away. So I'm wondering if there's anything you can tell me on what I need to do to remedy it. And if it was really bruised ribs or if it's something different. Yes. I ask, was this bruised with, was this, is this bruised ribs? No. Was it bruised ribs? Yes. Was and is past okay. present. Then I ask, <clears throat> is there scar tissue? A little. There's a little scar tissue that's working its way out. Okay. Yeah. Does she need to do something else for this? No. But Just I time. Am, yeah, I am going to do some work with you. Um, we're going to schedule an appointment. I'm learning this amazing process by um, Jimmy Mack, who's a healer, healer who ha had a near death, and he spent three days out in the galaxy learning this process. We'll do that, and we'll clear this out of you like that. It'll be amazing. You'll love it. Awesome. And since I mentioned Jimmy Mack, Jimmy Mack Healing, J-I-M-M-Y-M-A-C-K-H-E-L-I-N-G dot com is where you can find uh, information about liquid fish. But you and I can do this um, in my office, and you'll be amazed at how much. Oh, that's what's going to cut the cord, too. Amazing. So, so when I physically feel better, I'll cut the cord? Yeah. You know what? It will be cut. <clears throat> it will be cut on its own. Um, you just need to clear the energy of this out of you and you're going to be just fine. But you are very sensitive to um, physical, like if something, uh, if you push too hard, if you, you're, you're very, I don't want to use the word tough, but you are very strong and you're tough. You can deal with a lot, but sometimes your body is not as strong as your will. Is that a good way yes. to put it? Yes, and that's probably why I'm not healed because I still pushed my body Ex and didn't let it recover. Exactly. So we're gonna we're gonna just clear that away, and you're gonna do amazing afterwards. You're gonna feel like a million pounds have been lifted from you. Seriously, okay? Yeah. So, and then having said that, the other thing that I really want to say is, go easy on yourself. You know, go easy on your body. You don't have anything to prove anymore. You don't have to prove you're, you know, a, a warrior anymore. Um, that, that if you believe in past lives, that life is long gone, okay? <laughs> Done and gone, and, and you're not there anymore. You, you can be a little bit easier on you and your body, okay? Okay. Excellent. And so do you have another question? Does that answer that? Do you want to no, ask it, more it about that? No, it does answer that. Thank you. Now, one thing I would say is start to take appropriate care of your heart, emotionally and physically. Okay. Capiche? You want to elaborate on that pretty please? Yes, I do. <laughs> okay, so in some schools, they believe that emotional grief, depending on where it sits, can cause physical problems in the body. I believe that. So a lot of grief can cause um, lung issues, but also uh, heart ache and heart break. The name says it all, right? That can cause problems with the heart. So we have to be sure to clear that stuff, but also uh, I always like to say it like this. It's not set in stone, it's a probability, but not set in stone. If you choose appropriate care, you can avoid this, but there, uh, the left ventricle, left ventricle, left ventricle is what I'm hearing. So you definitely want to take care for that. Now one really amazing thing for the heart is hawthorn extract. Okay. And walks around the block. And no and, smoking, I'm sure my parents would say. Oh, ow. 
Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, absolutely. Um, and that does explain what I'm seeing. I always see this with smokers where part of the heart is um, almost, it's white instead of that nice pink, mm -hmm. beautiful heart color. Now remember, the body was designed miraculously to heal itself. We just have to get out of the way and do what's right for our body, right? You're bringing up something that I wanted to ask you before yeah. today when I was thinking about what I wanted to ask, but then I forgot until you just mentioned like the, the issues or whatever. So um, I did have my first mammogram and then they saw something on it, but they have nothing to compare it to. So now I'm having another one. So that would be a question. Does that have anything to do with the things that you're talking about right now too? I'm hearing yes. Okay. Now, I'm hearing you're going to be okay. It's all going to work out perfectly. You're going to be in a place where you feel <clears throat> confused and lost for a little bit. Make sure you take your time with this and don't jump. Yeah. This is where some of your stubbornness is going to come in <laughs> handy, okay? Yeah. Um, and w what some people love, um, have had amazing results with apricot kernels. You're the second person to bring that up in the last month. To just, uh, it, there is, I personally know people who have used these and uh, the big C has cancer, not saying that's what it is, yeah. has literally come out of their body. Um, even after doctors have said there's nothing else we can do, they start then taking the apricot kernels and then it is gone. So I've heard that. something to think about the sooner the better sort of thing in this sort of case, if you can eliminate it prior <clears throat> to going back in, okay. all the better. Now, of course, Western medicine is not going to say, yeah, that's awesome, do that. Yeah. And every person has to make their best educated choice, do your own research. <laughs> you told me, relax on the research, because you know me. Well, I yes. do do my research and overdo <laughs> it, and yes, but no, right. I understand. I'm yeah. not nervous about it. Yeah, I was just be. curious about Everything it. Everything is going to be okay. It's all going to work out perfectly for you. You are going to be a little bit confused. Now, that's an interesting word, isn't it? Confused? Mm -hmm. Like, huh, this doesn't seem right. So if that... Because I'm pretty intuitive, so for me to be right. confused will not be a comfortable feeling. If you, when you get that feeling, definitely take a second look, literally take a second look, okay? Okay. Perfect. So what's your, does that answer all of that? It does. Excellent, what's your next question? Um, I guess I only have the two more. <laughs> um, one is, am I supposed to be a mother? Yes, you already are. Love. Okay, you, yes, you are supposed to be a mother, and yes, you already are a mother. First of all, you're a mother to some of your relatives. I know that. <laughs> and you're a mother to all of your fur babies, too. Am I supposed to have a child? Okay, so um, I'm going to ask that differently. Because am I supposed to, says, am I obligated to? Um, Do you, the, the first thing I would ask is, I would put this in a way of. I'm very you conflicted know. because I have wanted one all my life, but then I also don't know at the same time. Yeah. So one of the things is, once you let go of all of the fear of motherhood, and what could possibly go wrong, all of your answer, all of your questions will be answered. You will not question that. When you think about only what can go right and how different you are and how well you take care of your fur babies. Oh, God, I love fur babies. Um, yeah, they're pretty spoiled. You're gonna be amazed at the fact that you understand your question 
isn't whether you should be a mother or not. Your Will question is, can you protect a child or not? And yes, you can. You will give a child an amazing home with an amazing upbringing, with incredible morals, and just a very bright future. Will that be happening, or will I stop myself from having that happen? Okay, yeah, and again, the clock's ticking. you know, this is one of those cases where I can say yes or no, because this is ultimately a decision you have to make, but I do feel like there is going to be a child in your life. Whether you give, you personally give birth to this child or not is another question. Okay. But I do see a child in your life, uh, uh, and I do see that you are going to be the primary caretaker of this child. And that's an interesting way of stating that, isn't it? See, everything they say leaves a little clue. Yep. Primary caretaker of this child. Well, so that's my role in you, general. You are going to just envelop yourself around this little bean and just beyond take care of it. But you know, you're gonna to have to be strict and have guidelines. They're not like our pets. <laughs> we, we have to impose <laughs> rules and stick to them. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I just don't wanna be overbearing with that. Um, I feel like that's <clears throat> not, you're not gonna worry about that. I feel like you're gonna know exactly, you know, between your intuition and your caring you're gonna know exactly what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. You're gonna be amazing. You're gonna be an amazing, you already are an amazing mom, but you'll be an amazing mom to a human also. Good, I just have to get rid of my own guilt on everything. And, and yeah, you're gonna be doing that. Like I said, I see within a month, all that is gonna go. You're gonna be amazed at how life can be when you're not, you know, carrying the world on your back. Yeah. Thanks. Right? Right, love? Yeah. 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 I know that there's something that every time we do a session together, and it's been over a year that we've known each other, we always come back to the, you helped me through a breakup, and then we did the healing, and here I am now. <laughs> we always go back to, mm -hmm. when am I going to attract a, a, also a really great person? Okay, that person is coming in. <clears throat> A month to six weeks. So this month mark is kind of big for you, right? I feel like between now and the end of that month, you're really going to be working, working, working on fixing, fixing, or clearing, clearing, clearing. There's nothing to be fixed. You're perfect as you are. Just need to get rid of the dust in the corners, and then you're going to be doing amazing, okay? And right around that month mark, this person is going to come in. Give it to six weeks. I think you meet at a month somebody brand new. This is not the one we talked about a long time ago, the in-between to the one. Mm, I don't know. Here's what I'll tell you. This is somebody brand new coming in, and I'm hearing she's the one, she's the one, she's the one. Okay? There might be somebody coming in sooner than that, but the person in a month that's coming in, she's the one. Now, once you meet her, you might meet her and maybe uh, you just like run into her or introduce to her very casual, not with the intention of anything, but then at the six week mark, then something else, you, you meet again because I'm hearing a month and six weeks, a month and six weeks. So I feel like at the month mark you initially meet, uh, maybe at like a picnic. Okay, it's probably not a picnic. <laughs> just saying, it's probably yeah. not a picnic. I just need that. But, and then you, you run into each other or meet again or talk again at that six week mark and that's when you really uh, start to um, so it's like a friendship at uh, first? It, it, oh, it's pretty hot and heavy from the beginning. It's really, I think from that, at least from that six week mark, it's, it's pretty all systems go. Let's get the, 
<laughs> Let's get the show on. Like, I feel like it's really ready, set, go uh, as soon as both of you are. Maybe I, you know, I'm getting, here's what I'm going to say. Once you both know you're both single, interested, ready, and willing, it's going to be a go. You're like right away. Right in. <laughs> okay. That's how all woman on woman relationships go. <laughs> like there's They're no not like, telling me anything new. What the heck? <laughs> there's no like, we should wait for the third date or my three month rule. There's none of that. There's just like, you interested? Yeah. You in? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's just done deal. Um, but this is very long term, <clears throat> very substantial. I feel like this person in some way is in the same field you're going into. Mm -hmm. So whether this is a, oh, ooh, ooh, a financial advisor, which is not the same field you're going into, but I feel like a, a, a money. Mortgage broker. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like a mortgage broker or a um, finance person, a fin some kind of finance person. And I'm saying at this month mark, given the fact that you do the work, and I know you will, in a month, everything is like, um, you know those lotus flowers? Mm -hmm. They just show it completely opening up for you and to you so that everything, uh, it's just a new beginning. In, in about a month, it's a brand new beginning. Like the, old, the last book, this book is closing. A new book is opening. It's not even the end of a chapter to a new chapter. It's a brand new book, and you are writing a whole new, that's the end of the series. This is a new series, and off you go. That sounds great. I Excellent. did give myself that by September, I would be done with all of the studying and all of the licensure and jumping into the career. Excellent. Lisa, Alisa, thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for, for being everything. Such an amazing guest. I think I answered all your questions, right? You did. You Absolutely. always do. Absolutely. And I just, I'm so honored that you are here today and such an amazing guest on the show. I'm, um, I always love when I have such beautiful, amazing people that loved ones get to come in. And I want to thank you for watching today, too. If you would like to be a guest, on Tony G Psychic Medium, please go to my website right below and contact me. I'll be happy to have you on as a guest also. Until next time, make your life amazing. Mm -hmm.